Bob Albert. <laughs> All right, now you can give us a line on these players. How serious are they about winning this All-Star game? The, the players realize that this is the fans' weekend. They've come to see the best of the NBA, so showtime is definitely on their mind. Pleasing the people is one thing, but winning is paramount to everyone. Both coaches have said that the last five minutes, the best five players will be on the floor. And I guarantee you this, they'll be playing hard. So they'll turn up the volume the final five minutes. And Mike, what are you going to be looking for the first five minutes? Early in the game, I would expect the Magic Isaiah show to dominate. Both players want to create that enthusiasm, excitement in the crowd, want to get it going early so it'll be a wide open throttle. There's been an undercurrent throughout the course of this week here in Orlando that the West not only wants to win the game, but they'd like to send Magic Johnson home with that most valuable player trophy. What are your thoughts? Well, during the 88 All-Star game, I remember Larry Bird saying to me, don't worry about me, meaning minutes, shots attempted. Back in that game, 88 in that afternoon, Jordan had already won the slam dunk competition. He got 40 points that game, was MVP. The players had a sense he was on a roll. Great players are unselfish. I think without saying a word, they realize that this is Magic's moment. Arguably the greatest athletes of all are ready to go. And to meet them now, let's go to the, uh, well, this is uh, just before the start of today's game. And uh, Isaiah Thomas and Magic Johnson, they said, despite uh, the condition of Magic Johnson, that they would handle everything just as they always have. They're going to touch and we're going to kiss and we're going to congratulate. And when Magic tries to drive down the lane, I'm going to be right on his elbows. There is Magic Johnson. And of course, he has been the focus of uh, the national and international press throughout the course of this week. And he's handled himself in typical uh, Magic Johnson manner. And now for the introduction of the starting lineups, here is Paul Porter. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Orlando Arena, the 42nd Annual NBA All-Star Game. Now, let's meet the 1992 NBA Eastern Conference All-Stars. The head coach of the Eastern Conference All-Stars from the defending NBA champion, Chicago Bulls, Bill Jackson. All right. His assistant coaches are Tex winner John Bach and Jim Clemens, the trainer for the East team. Representing the host Orlando Magic is Lenny Courier. <laughs> Playing for the Eastern Conference, the NBA's all-time leader in three-point field goals, this 5'10 guard currently ranks among the league leaders in scoring assists and steals from the Washington Bullets, making his first All-Star Game appearance, Michael Adams! <laughs> Playing in his fourth All-Star Game, a talented scorer and rebounder and one of the finest passing centers in the NBA from the Cleveland Cavaliers, Brad Doherty! Clutch score as well as a three-time selection to the NBA's all-defensive team. He has led his team to five straight trips to the Eastern Conference Finals and two NBA championships from the Detroit Pistons, Joe Drubar. One of the league's most talented young forwards, he currently leads the Boston Celtics in both scoring and steals making his all-star game debut, Reggie Lewis. Also playing in his second all-star game, this playmaker has come back from a career-threatening knee injury this season and currently leads the league in free throw shooting from the Cleveland Cavaliers, Mark Rice. The two-time defending NBA Defensive Player of the Year and currently leading rebounder in the league. Playing in his second All-Star game from the Detroit Pistons, Dennis Rodman. From the Atlanta Hawks, playing in place of injured teammate Dominique Wilkins, this seven-footer is currently the second leading rebounder in the NBA and has emerged as one of the league's top inside scorers this season. Playing in his first All-Star game, Kevin Willis. And now the starters 
for the East team. And forward playing in his sixth straight All-Star game. One of the game's most imposing inside players. He is once again among the league leaders in scoring, rebounding, and field goal percentage this year from the Philadelphia 76ers, Charles Barkley. At center, a six-time All-Star and one of the league's most dominant players. He has sparked to revitalize New York Knicks into first place in the Atlantic Division, Patrick Rui. Starting in place of the injured Larry Bird, playing his second All-Star game, a versatile 6'7 forward who played a major role in leading the Chicago Bulls to the 1991 NBA Championship, Scotty Pippen. the All-Star Game MVP in 1984 and 1986. He led the Detroit Pistons to consecutive NBA titles in 1989 and 1990. The All-Star Game's career leader in steals, playing in his 10th All-Star Game, Isaiah Guard, the leading vote getter in the Miller Genuine Draft All-Star Balloting for the sixth straight season. He was the MVP of the regular season at the NBA Finals last year after leading the Chicago Bulls to their first NBA title. Currently leading the league in scoring for the sixth straight season, Michael Jordan! All-Stars. The head coach of the Western Conference All-Stars from the Golden State Warriors, John Nelson. His assistant coaches from the Warriors are Gary St. Jean and Don Nelson. The trainer for the West team from the Utah Jazz is Don Sparks. Playing for the Western Conference, a six-foot point guard who is currently the only player to rank among the NBA's top ten in scoring assists and steals, making his second All-Star appearance from the Golden State Warriors, Tim Hardaway. Making his All-Star debut, he began his college career as a walk-on at Iowa State, and now he has become one of the top all-purpose guards in the NBA from the Phoenix Suns, Jeff Hornacek. Also from the Suns, the runner-up for last year's NBA Sixth Man Award, as well as one of the top defensive players in the league, playing in his first All-Star game, Dan Marley. The fourth overall pick in the 1991 NBA Draft. He currently leads all NBA rookies in scoring, rebounding, and block shots. Representing the Denver Nuggets, Nikembe Matumbo! From the Houston Rockets, he has been one of the league's most feared centers since coming into the league in 1984. Playing in his seventh All-Star game, Aki Olajuwon. This 6'1 point guard set an NBA record for assists in a season last year, and he is currently leading the league in assists for the fifth straight season from the Utah Jazz, John Stockton. One of the league leaders in rebounding and field goal percentage. He recently became only the 10th player in history to play in 500 straight regular season games, appearing in his first All-Star game from the Houston Rockets, Otis Thorne. Playing in his seventh straight All-Star game, one of the NBA's premier forwards, and a member of three world championship teams during his career from the Los Angeles Lakers, James Worthy. And now the starting lineup for the West team. And forward, a five-time All-Star who currently holds the highest All-Star game scoring average 
in history with 22 points per game. The leading vote getter in the Western Conference from the Utah Jazz, the mailman, Carl Malone. And the other forward playing in his fourth All-Star game, one of the NBA's leading scorers and deadliest outside shooters from the Golden State Warriors, Chris three-year career, the league leader in block shots, and the only player to rank among the league's top ten in five categories from the San Antonio Spurs, David Robinson. At guard, making his first all-star game starred, one of the most versatile and explosive backcourt players in the NBA, from the Portland Trailblazers, Clyde Drexler. Starting at the other guard, the NBA's all-time leader and assist this three-time most valuable player as the Los Angeles Lakers defined NBA titles during the 1980s. One of the greatest players of all time, making this 12th all-star game appearance. of our colors by the United States Army Recruiting Company, Orlando. And now to honor America with the singing of our national anthem by an artist that recently won two American Music Awards for the best pop male vocalist and pop album of the year. He is also a Grammy winner, nominated three consecutive years for best pop male vocalist. Please welcome Columbia recording artist Michael Bolton. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we had had the twilight last gleam whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight oh, the So gallantly streaming, and the rockets went clear, the bombs bursting in gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled?
The emotional pressure was eased by the welcome of his NBA colleagues for Magic Johnson. Now, as he told us, he'll do what he has missed most of all, compete. Cold filtered. Miller Genuine Draft. For those who've discovered its real draft taste, the world is a very cool place. If your face were square, shaving would be simple. But your face has curves. You need the Schick Tracer with a blade that flexes to put more of the blade edge against your skin. Tracer from Schick traces every curve on your face. If you wear extremely lightweight Rockport hiking boots instead of heavy hiking boots, your feet lift something like 20,000 fewer pounds every day. Rockport, you should be in our shoes. Ford trucks, the best never ends. Yeah, sure, Ranger's the best-selling compact pickup, but how did it get there? Was it toughness? It is the best-built American compact pickup. How about technology? Push-button four-wheel drive, four-liter power. Ranger offers both, plus style and comfort. You know what? It's more than a sales leader. <laughs> it's a value leader. More people are driving the best-built, best-selling American trucks than ever before. The NBA All-Star Game is brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By cold filtered Miller Genuine Draft and Miller Genuine Draft Light, taking the country by storm. And by ITT Sheraton, official hotel of the NBA and the USA basketball team. Downtown Orlando, off in the distance, uh, the Orlando Arena opened some three years ago, and today their first All Star Classic, and many of those with. Olympic credentials, you'll be seeing them in Barcelona. Malone, Mullen, Robinson, Drexler, and Magic for the West. Barkley, Pippen, Ewing, Thomas, and Michael Jordan for the East. The East won last year by two, and the East has dominated the series. This is the 42nd Classic, the East winning 27, the West 14. The West in blue, East in white. Trying to sort out the final of... Uh, Congratulations and positions. It'll be Ewing going against the Lieutenant David Robinson. Number 42 underway, and Magic touches it first. Ewing to Isaiah. Scotty Pippen. Michael blocked by Clyde Drexler. That's normally the routine that Michael Jordan does. Come from behind your head, take the ball out of their hands. That time, Clyde returned the favor. Jordan with Drexler. Mailman has his first stamp on a rebound. Magic Johnson surveying the floor, and it's Drexler outside. Malone working on Charles Barkley. Malone, Jeff Mullen inside. Chris Mullen with a beautiful touch. As the West team, their practice, their one session, uh, involved much more passing and drilling, and uh, it appeared Don Nelson really wanted to work on that quick pass concept. Well, two ends of the spectrum as far as the practices go, as Patrick Ewing does what he does so well, knock out face-up jump shots. They actually went hard in practice yesterday, and one of the big reasons Don Nelson said was to see how hard Magic could go, and he said, I think Magic really wanted to see for himself. Now Magic's been running, he says, four miles a day, and working against Kareem in practice, misses his shot, goes back up, and is fouled. It, during the practice yesterday, you saw a transition, you saw a three on two, you saw, you saw defensive plays. Nelson was determined to make the guys work. You'll see constant movement by both teams, but particularly the West, because that's Don Nelson's style. And I think Magic here is trying to build up his offensive rebounds in the game. Magic Johnson, uh, some most impressive numbers, of course, the assist total, the all-time high in the NBA. Michael Jordan committed the foul, and the Magic converts two, and the West leads by a deuce. 
Boy, a lot of beef there. And Barkley goes around Malone, but can't connect. Malone rebounds. Magic with a 40-foot pass to Drexler, and it's Mullen open. The former St. John's All-America, Chris Mullen, has four. Answering at the other end is Isaiah Thomas. And that's exactly what they'd like to do, establish this type of tempo, get the crowd into it, and Magic comes right back with his transition score. That's just what you said you'd look for the first five minutes. Isaiah and Magic getting these two teams on the run. They were off to a slow start. Remember last year in Charlotte. Michael Jordan! Oh, my! Michael just adding one more to the highlight, Phil. Interception by Isaiah Thomas. Numbers aren't there. What a pass to Jordan! But Robinson said, uh-uh. Robinson out on Zeke. Yeah, first Michael said, no, I'll think twice about it. Then Zeke said, I'll think twice about it. Also. And Robinson, who's one of the leaders in steals in the NBA, and it's Malone at the other end. But what a play defensively by David Robinson. It's really hard to, to understand how much ground he covers, how quick he is for a person of his size. He's fourth in the league in steals. Ewing inside to connect, and a foul. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas taking it right at his good buddy, Magic, and then the switch of the hands at the end. So good around the basket, Isaiah. And then right back at you, Magic doesn't give him a chance to turn around, blows it down the floor and converts. Ewing fouled by Drexler, going after the three-point play. And not there. It's 10-8 West as Robinson collects the rebound, and here comes Magic. Right there, right there. We'll give and go to Robinson, and he's fouled by Barkley, who, despite his uh, bullish nature on offense, really doesn't commit many fouls. Very low count average is just a little over two a game. Well, generally, when you commit fouls, you're playing defense, and Charles will be the first to admit, <laughs> I am not in this league to be a defensive <laughs> stopper. Oh, it just looks like he should be. Foul number 32, Charles Barkley. Robinson. His, first, his introduction, the only all-star here in the top 10 in five categories, ninth in scoring, averaging just under 23, and a good free-throw shooter, but misses both here. 10-8 as the East goes for a tie or more. Pippen behind a pick by Barkley, and can he fly to the hole? As Johnny Bach told us, he may be the best in finishing way above the rim since Dr. J. I mean, he really elevates. Clyde Drexler over the top. Stolen by Robinson, and he is fouled. You talk about getting up above the rim. Once he turns the corner and particularly likes to go right, he is up so high above, even difficult for Patrick Ewing to get a piece or hey, David Robinson or whoever else might want to step up and take a shot at him. And Pippen, one of the great stories, uh, inspiring from Central Arkansas. Ewing with a foul. He went to college on a football managerial uh, project uh, scholarship. And uh, they said, well, you're not a bad basketball player. Why don't you give that a go? And here he is, one of the premier stars in the game. West by two. Fast pace beginning here in Orlando. 8.40 left in the opening quarter, and it's Barkley with Robinson. And Robinson denying the baseline. Because of the limited amount of practice time, you'll see the one or two set plays that the coaches have put in, but usually at the end, you see the one-on-one -on -one like that. Individual talent take over. Eye contact with Michael, and he has four. At the other end, Drexler to Robinson. And a foul, Ewing is second. This is the man, the man of the hour, the man they're looking for. If you take your eye off him, they'll just throw the thing up in the air, and he'll elevate. Tough to stay with him. Had a long chat with his father a couple days ago. And he said that uh, as a youngster, really thought Michael was going to be a baseball star, that he was an outstanding shortstop and pitcher. He said actually it was because he grew so much that his baseball uniform didn't look good on him. His legs were too long for the pants. And he went for style and two basketballs of the good graces of all the rest of us. West by one. Pippen fires on a toss to Jordan. This may be hard to, to believe, but the East squad actually looks small compared to the West squad at his size, the body width, etc. 
Mullen and it's Ewing with the steal. Isaiah Thomas. Tiffin. Tiffin has four, and the pass too tall for Robinson. Carl Malone likes the idea of being in the middle of the break, but the touch pass isn't quite as easy as you think it is to make. One of the great abilities of the Western team is that they can switch because they're so similar in size, everyone. Doing over Magic, and the East lead now by three. 8-0 run for the Eastern All-Stars. Magic hooking over Zeke, his close buddy, 16-15. Well, that'll bring back memories of his rookie year in the playoffs against the 76ers when he went inside and put the Lakers to the title. Jordan. Oh, no. He had no shot, nowhere to go, but found the way. Magic. The table tennis match, end to end. Robinson to Mullen with Drexler with him. And Malone gets the gift. And the West back on top. 1918. And a time call. Oh, what great early action. Michael Jordan punctuating the greatness of these players with this move. The ability to take off on one side of the lane and finish on the other. Well, I can't wait to get home to try it out in my backyard. It's a whole new feeling. It's a whole new day. It's the same people caring in a brand new way. From the smallest detail to the grandest design, whatever you touch it. We invested a billion dollars in new lobbies, guest rooms, restaurants, a whole new standard of service. Come stay with us on your next business trip. We spent a billion, so you'll feel like a million at Sheraton Hotels. It's a whole new feeling. It's like a Swiss Army knife. Durable, reliable, versatile. Hatch goes up. Seats go down. Down shifting into a curve, I can feel the GT16 valves kick in. Kicking and screaming. Well, you know, kids. But my escort wagon gives them room to spread out. Outstanding value. Finally, a sophisticated car I can afford. Ford Escort, America's most popular small car. For a lot of good reasons. Have you driven a Ford lately? Yo, you think this is an all-star lineup? Wait till you see the entertainment all-stars I got guest starring on my show tomorrow night. We're talking Mr. TV comedy Milton Berg. Yeah, and we're talking Yo! MTV rap star Dr. Dre. Not to mention the good doctor of love, the love boat's Bernie Capel. Yeah, so enjoy the rest of the b-ball all-stars and check out the Fresh Prince all-stars tomorrow night. The Fresh Prince, NBC Monday. Watch this from the perspective of David Robinson. Jordan drives, Robinson comes to greet him with a left hand round, goes Jordan with a left and scores. And plays like that have made him internationally a big star. And prior to today's game, Kevin Wolf of Miller Brewing Company presented the top vote getter award to Michael. The Bull star drew more than a million fan ballots and Jordan has won that title six consecutive years. Went to North Carolina, as Daddy said, because Dean Smith was the only coach that recruited him that wouldn't promise him he'd start as a freshman. Everyone else did. And uh, Michael took it as the challenge. Isaiah. Three-pointer, the first of this classic, and the East leads by two. Johnson being rested. Tim Hardaway, who was a... Uh, third in the balloting in the West Guard position. Oh, what a play! Drexler to Mullen. They're working together as if they have uh, been teammates for 10 years. You need to keep your eye on Chris Mullen. He moves so well without the basketball and in Don Nelson's system. Movement all the time. Break the defense down. 
Ewing against Robinson. Almost tipped in by Pippen. Malone rebounds. This is Drexler on the glide. Blocked by Ewing, out of bounds to the west. Anytime the ball goes down to the low post, if you move without it, these type of players with their skills and ability will find you. Robinson has it taken away by Drexler. Tim Hardaway. What a feed to Robinson. The West by two. Robinson now with five. Barkley and Drexler the only starters who have not scored. They're hitting at about a 70% pace. Oh, Pippen, as uh, Coach Bach, who's on the bench for the East set, and referring to Michael Jordan's stardom, Pippen's going to have his own cape pretty soon, if not already. His game just continues to improve. And, and one area you may not consider is the fact that he is the leading assist man in the NBA for forwards right now. Mark Price, number 25, comes into the Eastern lineup, and Isaiah Thomas given a breather. Brad Doherty makes his first appearance. Former North Carolina star, he's in for Ewing. 5.08 left in this opening quarter. East and West nodded at 23. Drexler. A three-pointer for the Portland Blazer star. Both of these came out. This is unusual. They come out shooting as well as they did today. I think the transition game going helped these teams to run, loosen up quickly. Now they're making their perimeter shots as well. Barkley has to go off his fingertips to Malone, and Hardaway leads the break. Robinson to Malone. Big guy for the Utah Jazz, Carl Malone. Biggest lead of the game. Five-point advantage for the West, and Jordan can't connect. Bodies colliding on that one. Drexler, he almost heard Jordan. You could hear one of his teammates saying, watch your back, and Drexler put it in high gear. I'll tell you who may be enjoying this game as much as anyone is Don Nelson. When they run their passing game or get the transition thing going, he's over there on the sideline smiling up and down, really happy with it. Doherty, Robinson might have gotten a piece of that pass, and it goes through Doherty's fingertips. There are runners and there are flyers. This guy does it both. Hakeem Elijahwan from... The Houston Rockets in for the first time for the West, and uh, Don Nelson also sends in Dikembe Mutombo for the first time. 7-0 unanswered run for the West, and Drexler hits another three, and the West explodes to a 10-point lead. Cl Clyde just sending a message over to Don Nelson. Next time you play, don't back off me. Pippen forcing one, and there's Malone to collect. Hardaway on a three on two. Drexler again, and Clyde Drexler leads all scorers with 10. 12-point lead as the West building up a big advantage here in the late uh, going of the first quarter. Barkley and Malone shoulder to shoulder, and it's uh, Malone with the foul as Joe Dumars, the Piston star, comes in. After this fast break right here, the guy filling on the other lane is Chris Mullins. Instead, Hardaway goes to Drexler, and Don Nelson kind of shook his head back and forth as if to say, no, 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 Tim, Mullins on our team. That's the guy to take care of during the regular season. Michael oh. Jordan on the bench. That was Drexler deflecting, and then he got a piece of the ball again. Oh, he is such a complete player, Clyde Drexler, who has been the spark in this 12-0 run. And not on the Olympic team. We'll uh, be dealing with that and other issues, especially at halftime, a whole U.S. Olympic report of these uh, NBA stars. 3.13 left in the first. I have this dream. I ride. 190 horses at once.
wizard, Miller Genuine Draft. For those who've discovered its real draft taste, the world is a very cool place. Warning, up to half of all engine wear can happen when you start your car. At this critical time, test proof Quaker State 10W30 protects better than any other leading 10W30 motor oil. In an overwhelming majority of engine tests, Quaker State 10W30 flowed faster to all vital parts. In all size engines tested, Quaker State protected faster, so it protected better. Get the best protection against startup wear. Today's Quaker State, it's one tough motor oil. The NBA All-Star Game is brought to you by Nissan, built for the human race. Our overhead shots on this beautiful day in Florida from the spirit of Akron, courtesy of Goodyear Tires. 35 years ago, we're going to show you one of the great shots in NBA All-Star history, and it came from... Mr. Bill Sharman. Sharman, 35 years ago, was trying to pass the ball to his teammate Bob Cousy. It's a 70-foot pass, and it's right on target. A two points for Sharman, and still is the longest in All-Star history. Jeff Hornacek of the Phoenix Suns and Iowa State is in, and so is Dennis Rodman on the eastern side. He's from southeastern Oklahoma State. Joe Dumars at the Pistons. Elijah Wan rebounds for the West, and the West leading by a dozen into the offensive end. It's Hardaway, and boy, they've made six straight shots. They're shooting almost 80%, 15 for 19. The East has shot 64%. And trail now by 14. Oops. Almost turned it over. It's Rodman Price. Pippen still in. The only starter. Doherty and Dumars for the East. Price, the Cleveland Cavaliers star. Doherty follows. So the Cavs connect. One of the things that Phil Jackson said yesterday is I really would like to play combinations together. We've got two Cleveland Cavaliers, three Detroit Pistons out here. It may make a difference. Drexler's three, way over the mark. And Drexler falls out of bounds. Has to be helped up by the official. At the other end is Scotty Pippen. Well, for someone that doesn't really know the other guy that well, that timing was about as good as it could be on the lob from Mark Price to Pippen. Drexler to Hardaway to Malone. Carl Malone. Carl Malone. He now has eight. Dumars around Hornacek. Price with Hardaway. Rejected by Elijah Wan and a foul. Let's go back to Scotty Pippen on that long setup pass as Magic returns. It's just a matter of eye contact, seeing the floor, and then having someone at the end like a Scotty Pippen that can go up, catch, and convert. Drexler out as Magic Johnson returns. Coach Don Nelson said he might play him at four different positions today. Reggie Lewis, number 35 from the Boston Celtics. His first All-Star appearance. Pippen goes out. Mark Price with his second free toss. He makes them both. He's best in the league from the line, and it's a 10-point lead for the West. Imagine shooting over 95% from the free throw line. Elijah Wan's first shot is a little short. Rodman, who leads the league in rebounds, has his first today, and Dumars, his teammate with the Pistons, out to Rodman. So we have three Pistons on the floor. The only team with three in the game. Reggie Lewis. Malone, another board. Magic sets up Hornacek. Johnson rebounds to Elijah Wan, handcuffed him. Hardaway for three. Rodman another rebound. He's averaging over 18 a game. Reggie Lewis just did not have the angle that time to find Dennis Rodman. I think a little bit surprised when he realized that Rodman had gotten the rebound, kicked it to him, and was filling the lane. That's how quick Dennis Rodman is. 
Otis Thorpe of the Rockets makes his first appearance for Carl Malone. Let's go to Ahmad. Yeah, I have to. I have to pick him up first because he's not. Magic. Magic Johnson credited with the tip. Magic playing, everybody's a little pumped up, especially that West team. And I think that we got the well of the storm early. But you know he's going to be into the game and the crowd's pulling for the West, so we got to keep him coming down a little bit. And seeing that you were MVP last year, you haven't yet got warmed up, have you? Uh, I'm cruising this year. <laughs> I've got one MVP. I don't have to kill myself anymore. <laughs> All right. Back to you, Dick. Barkley, who had an ankle injury, remember, last year and said he didn't want to play. The NBA office convinced him he should, and he collected 17 points and 22 rebounds and the MVP award. And then the uh, commissioner thanked him for deciding to show up. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Charles. They're going to have some etiquette uh, lessons, are they not, before they go to Barcelona? Well, I'm sure there'll be a number of seminars by the Olympic Committee uh, making our players aware of the fact certain customs by other countries and uh, how we would like to be represented. Jeff Hornacek from downtown hits the tray, his first points. And the West in the final seconds of this first quarter have a 13-point lead. Price around Hardaway. Stolen by Magic. Hornacek. Magic says, we'll take the last shot. Fans are saying, shoot. Hornacek, 14 seconds, a shot clock and game clock almost identical. Elijah with five, four. Rebound Doherty with one. Not in time. Dumars did not get it off in time. And that ends a high scoring as expected first quarter with the West dominating 44 31. And Magic leading the way four for five and 10 points for the West. Few will ever see the inside of an Olympic stadium or know how it feels to be the best in the world. But all children have the ability to discover what is best within themselves. That's why Coca-Cola supports athletic programs for young people in 154 countries around the world. To support the Olympic spirit within us all. Can't beat the real thing. Five hundred dollars, baby, and you can pick my teammate. Give them the Chump. You mean play basketball? It's not about black. Oh, it's hard work being this good. It's not about white. How much money did you make today? I missed you too. It's about green. <laughs> Wesley Snipes, Woody Harrelson. I only have four words for you. White men can't jump. Will you explain to this Gladys Knight and the pimps? It's pips. The pips. Rated R. Starts Friday, March 27th at theaters everywhere. I have this fantasy where Steve takes me to this very romantic place for a candlelight dinner in his Nissan Pathfinder. We sit at a table for two that has this really nice view. constant change, there is one certainty. The financial strength of the rock, the prudential rock solid. Welcome back for the second quarter at the Orlando Arena. Some of the more than 900 members of the press corps making their notes. And there, oh, there's Bob Lanier, who is doing the call on NBA radio. And uh, with him is uh, Marv Albert. Uh, it's good to see them give this guy a shot uh, along with Lanier. Maybe, maybe he'll make it someday. Looks to me like he might be the only person I know that wears makeup for radio. Marv and Mike will be together next uh, Sunday. It's first half of our doubleheader. Let's see it. Detroit and Philadelphia, I believe. That's it. So 
Oh, the East with some work to uh, be done, trailing 44-31. Last year's first quarter score was 23-22. Some 29 more points today. So the influence of Isaiah Magic uh, has been felt. Price with Hornacek. Good give and go, and Rodman scores. Timing execution that time. Rodman set the screen and slipped it. Just as the defensive player tried to go over the top, he was gone. Price delivered on time. First points for Dennis Rodman all alone at the other end as Otis Thorpe, his first points. Akeem Olajuwon looking for a teammate. Otis Thorpe, they've done that a few times during the regular season. Joe Dumars for two. Joe his first points of the game. Uh, everyone getting in the book. Now Magic working on uh, Reggie Lewis, and he is fouled. First on Lewis. <laughs> Just a moment back. ago at the eastern end of the floor. Sometimes you hold the screen a long time here. Rodman slips it quick, and there's the opening. You only have a second to deliver, and then you have to finish with a guy like Elijah on flying at you. Magic Johnson wearing his age on his uniform. A young 32. Didn't get the supreme uh, farewell tour that Dr. J and Kareem did uh, more for the fans and themselves. I know it became tiring for, for the player. Magic, in many ways, is uh, bundling all that up into one afternoon today in Orlando and then in Barcelona next summer. Price for three. Rodman, an offensive rebound. Kept it alive for Doherty. Rodman can't hit. Still alive for Lewis. Reggie. You have a couple of live bodies on the glass for the East. Reggie Lewis, Dennis Rodman. And Tim Hardaway, the little guy from Utah. Hardaway. And the Golden State Warriors. He's got some terrific numbers, Hardaway. When you compare what he's done his first couple, three years with that of Magic Johnson, it's really impressive. Brad Doherty from Black Mountain, North Carolina. Doherty, number 43, has his fourth points. Hardaway hits again. 53-39, the West. Seven for Hardaway. Lewis to Doherty. Over Elijah Wan. A scoring fest in Orlando. Even though it's an all-star game, you're seeing some outstanding basketball being played. Magic Johnson! Well, he is really sharp for someone who hasn't played at the competitive level. He's worked out considerably, but he's a razor game sharp. I don't think Magic has ever tried to fool himself. He understands what shape he's in. He's getting after him. Rodman with one of his specialties, the offensive rebound. He now has four. West by a dozen. Hardaway almost threw that one in as he was fouled by Mark Price. And we have an official's timeout. 9.20 left in the first half. And here's Urban Johnson. Some of the magic that we've watched since 79 at Michigan State. the road like the new prelude from Honda. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What do you want with your fries? The one-of-a-kind taste of McDonald's Big Mac or the big beefy quarter pounder with cheese. Either way, in the McDonald's Extra Value Meal, you always get an order of world-famous fries and a Coke Classic. But you got to pick the burger. Dominic, the lane was yours. How'd you get inside? Hey, what can I say? Dominic, what do you want with your fries? Hey, now there's a question. What you want is what you get. The Extra Value Meal. At McDonald's today. What do you want with your fries? Where do you want to be in 10 years? Detroit to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to Detroit. That's not why I became a pilot. I'll tell you the run I want. St. Thomas to Saber Island. To my own Grumman Mallet. Call it Dave's Airways. That's what I want for my investments. Now, how do we do it? You can get there from here. With Shearson Lehman Brothers. 
The NBA All-Star Game is brought to you by Honda, maker of fine quality automobiles. Test drive a Honda at your local dealer today. By the people at Nike, who encourage you to just do it. And by McDonald's. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. City of Orlando, Florida, and Michael Jordan, whose uh, dream beyond all of success is just this, to join the PGA Tour. I, maybe you could analyze this swing for us, Mike. Oh, I'm the last person you ever want to ask about a golf swing. And, and me, and Michael has played 36 holes every day down here, and probably if there's enough light left, he'd go out and try to get nine in after this game today. Six points, and well rested in the first period. 17 of the 25 All-Stars have scored. It is 55-43, the West leading by 12. Let's uh, reintroduce the men on the floor as uh, James Worthy makes his first appearance for the West, the Los Angeles Lakers star. It's uh, Elijah Wan, Magic Worthy, Hardaway shooting, and uh, Hornacek. And for the East and White, Rodman, Lewis, Dumars, Doherty, and Kevin Willison, the okay. Atlanta Hawk, for the first time. One of the problems with that last shot for the East was you had the number one and number two rebounders in the league. Rodman and Willis going after it. They wound up bumping into each other. Not for that bounce. Magic, that little bumping action technique of his. He'll play a little two-man game with James Worthy. No, he'll say, I'll play it alone with a hooker. What you have right now is Magic moving into the power forward position, the big forward spot, Worthy playing the three spot, Hardaway one, Hornacek two. Magic leads all scores with 16. Kevin Willis, his first shot, Elijah Wan rebounds, clears to Hardaway. Magic dishes off to Worthy, his first attempt. Rodman. Knocked away by Elijah Wan. Now sliding up into the four position just creates a different problem for Dennis Rodman, one of the league's best defenders. Rodman against Magic. Magic shows him the hook. That's a long distance throw. John Stockton, the leading assist man in the NBA again this year from the Utah Jazz, makes his first appearance, and so does Dan Marley, the outstanding number six man of the Phoenix Suns. Magic Johnson goes out. Stockton picks up the loose ball. Off to his teammate Jeff Hornacek. It was a walk-on at Iowa State, and now an NBA All-Star. So the West dominating here in the first half. Five on the shot clock. Three, Lewis. Nice patience that time by the Eastern team. Passing the ball around, a little ball movement. Eventually got a wide open shot. Worthy at the other end over Willis. Willis rebounds. And off the top of the head of Rodman to the west. Steve Jones is with us. All right, I'm over here with the heavy breathing Magic Johnson, but you wanted to have pace at the start of this game. Did you get it? Oh, yeah, we got good. I got good pace as an individual with the team, too, as well. Uh, I just wanted to get up and run down the quarter. You know, after all that's been going on this weekend, you just wanted to now get in the game. So everything went well. I finally got a hoop to go down and then just start rolling from there. Hey, we got several hoops to go in, and everyone wants to know, is there any effect so far on you physically? Do you feel any different other than not being in game shape? No, you, you don't have to worry about that. Everything's all right. In game shape, I, <laughs> I'm dying out there. <laughs> you know, but uh, I'm having a lot of fun, and uh, that's the key right there. I'm back with the fellas, and uh, it's great. All right, back to you, Dick. All right, Snapper. Snapper will be with us uh, next Sunday as you see Kevin Willis tack one in. He'll be in Los Angeles at the Forum when Magic Johnson's number 32 will be retired. The Celtics will be in town against the Lakers. That's part of the doubleheader on NBC next Sunday. Worthy. A finger roll not there and the foul to Willis. Timeout, East. East. Timeout. 
And a timeout by the Eastern All-Stars. The West leads by a dozen, 6.29 remaining in the first half. It's it, and that's that. <laughs> Nothing beats it. You want the bar across the street. <laughs> Life's the great beer that's left filling. It's everything you want a beer to be. It has a dual overhead camshaft design. Four valves per cylinder and a responsive double wishbone suspension. The Acura Integra. An idea that began with a Formula One race car and has been evolving ever since. All right, let's review last night's assignment. The proper usage of the word to Mr. Mullen. Two dogs ain't my homework. See me at the class. Mr. Hill, the proper usage of the word to. Too many students don't listen to the teacher. Anybody else have an answer? Keisha. If you're too legit to quit, stay in school. Pop. Man, I wish I said that. As we mentioned, the stars are out in Orlando to watch the stars. There's two from the NFL. Ronnie Lush. He played one year on the USC basketball team. And Warren Moon on his right, the great quarterback of the Houston Oilers. Boomer Esiason from the Bengals. He was an outstanding baseball pitcher. Don't know much about his uh, hoops biography. Dwight Gooden. Oh, I bet he could throw the baseball pass. He could get it down court. And the all-time score in NBA history and good close friend of Magic Johnson, Kareem Jabbar. And the elegant Dr. J, Julia Serving. Six twenty-nine left in the first half. The West 61, the East 49. And James Worthy at the line has not scored as yet. Worthy in his seventh consecutive All-Star game. This might be the player that has missed Magic Johnson the most during the regular season. Field goal percentage way down. Uh, those easy scores that always came from those long Magic passes, not there this year. MVP of the 88 NBA Finals has his first point. Jordan finally back in the game. He uh, was rested almost a full quarter. He comes out shooting. That really made a big difference in resting all quarter. Eight points for Jordan. John Stockton, Hornacek, Elijah on. Stockton against Adams and back outside with 10 on the shot clock, Hornacek. Dan Marley's first shot. Rodman, another rebound. Adams knocked away by Marley and right back to little Michael, the shortest man on the court at 5'10", if that's all, has his fourth point. And the East pulls within nine. Elijah on around Willis and the big guy from Houston has his fourth. And that's a move that Kevin Willis has picked up, put into his repertoire, using it for the first time this season on a regular basis. Akeem said, remember, I'm the guy that showed it to you first. Adams doesn't get the three. Rebound worthy. Here's Stockton on the run. His first shot is short. Worthy trying to save out of bounds to the east. Let's go to Ahmad Rashad. All right, Dick. Isaiah, just like old time, Magic comes in the game, you take him to the hole. You go back on the other end, he takes you right back to the hole. Well, it's the fans' game. We tried to get the fans involved right away, and then I wanted to show him that I still had it, and then I think he wanted to show me that he still had it. <laughs> All right, man, good luck to you. Hey, Ahmad working on his Satchmo Armstrong voice. 
Kimbe Matumbo of the Denver Nuggets in the ball game. As Stockton around Adams. Knocked away, and Rodman comes up with it. And Don Rodman Nelson with... wants goaltend. His net ball is on the rim. Rodman has 10 rebounds in this first half. Adams, who made the team when Larry Bird century denied him the chance to be here as a starter. With two seconds, Rodman. And there's the 24-second buzzer. Then it's not used to being that wide open facing the basket. Down at the other end, Don Nelson was complaining about this. In international competition, when it hits the rim, you can go up and take it off. But here, you can't do it. In the Olympic Games this summer, that all will go. Worthy against Rodman. Well done. Three points for Magic Johnson's teammate of the Lakers. Four minutes to go in the half. The West by 13. Dumars. No one there except Hornacek of the West. Matumbo! Hornacek saw him coming down the floor, never know, because he was a good eight yards behind him in transition, yet he knew that there was somebody in a blue shirt there. He found him. And here comes a young man from Georgetown and Zaire. You talk about trailers, this is the ultimate trailer. About two seconds behind, but finishes. Well, Tumbo came to Georgetown, couldn't speak English, learned English through French, one of five languages he speaks. When he came off the plane, John Thompson was there to greet him. Thompson didn't believe he was 7 2 and to Kenby told us, but Coach Thompson saw me. He didn't bother to go anywhere near any bookstore. He said he got me a pair of tennis shoes. He said, I just want to see how you handle the basketball. Well, John, being as smart as he is, he actually did is he sent a scout and said, Look, if this guy's really small, don't bring him around the gym or our offices but if he's legit bring him right over that is to Kemby Matumbo's full name he said he wants to see his name in lights boy it's going to take a lot of neon uh, you go ahead and take it <laughs> three and a half to go 68 53 the west leads Kevin Willis the jump up Marley has Matumbo to, uh, Matumbo to deal with and then throws it away come on Hey, Dick, you know, I was just listening on that last huddle, and this is one of the few huddles you will ever sneak in and listen to in the NBA that nobody's listening. <laughs> Anybody talking? Jordan stolen by Worthy, his former North Carolina teammate. There are a couple players in the league that you really fear throwing the ball back to the top of the circle if they're playing defense. One is Barkley, the other is James Worthy. Little Michael Adams, Isaiah, Adams with the big trees, and turns it over. Another run for the West. They've scored the last eight points. Throw it backwards. James will be there with those long arms, and then who's going to catch him? 17-point lead for the West. Sleep around here? What's all the racket? What's up? Jock! I was only kidding. Gruesome, ain't it? <laughs> of course you know this means war. Hey, Jordan. And hey, hey, Jordan. What'd you expect? You're my friend? Nice shot. Nice shot. This floors them every time. <laughs> nice shot. This could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. That's all, folks. Well, that's my line. You could hitch a ride on a comet. You could body surf a landslide. You could hang glide from an eagle. You could book a flight on a lightning bolt. Or you could drive the 1992 Toyota 4x4 and get it all.
Hey guys, if you think the All-Stars in today's game are awesome, check this out. 12 centerfold right here in my living room. If you want to see more, you're going to have to watch Blossom tomorrow night right here on NBC. I hope I don't make a fool of myself when I meet him. Hi! Blossom, after the Fresh Prince, NBC Monday. The NBA All-Star Game is brought to you by Toyota and their quality line of 1992 cars and trucks. Toyota, I love what you do for me. We're back in Orlando, and Magic Johnson leads all scores with 16. 30 years ago in St. Louis, Philadelphia's Wilt Chamberlain established the all-star scoring record with 42 points. Number 13, Chamberlain dominated the game, 42 points, 24 rebounds, but it was the West, led by Elgin Baylor and Bob Pettit, that won the game 150-130. Wilt with 23 points in a half, which is a record tied by Tom Chambers, and Magic has a shot at that. Here comes the West. Their biggest lead, 70 to 53. Stockton for three. John Stockton from Gonzaga, Spokane, Washington. They'll be cheering him up there at uh, the Jack and Dan's, his dad's uh, bar, where fans watch his action with the Utah Jazz. West shooting 64%. Thomas can't hit. Rebound Hornacek. Last touch by the East. 2.14 left in the half and the West by 20. The only All-Stars yet to score, Charles Barkley and Dan Marley. Hornacek from the corner. Or the West, did they come out with a hot hand? Well, they go back to practice yesterday where they went after it. They were very aggressive. They had an almost what we call full-type practice and uh, showing up here in the first half. 65% shooting for the West. Michael Jordan over Marley. And Thomas, basket interference. Charles Barkley returns for the East. Kevin Willis out. I'm sure that for Don Nelson, this is a little bit unusual to see a team on the floor, the opposition smaller than his team. Right now, Paul Jackson's able to go quick. Worthy got around Barkley, could not connect. Here comes Sir Charles the other way. The 76ers star. The lead Stockton goes around Hornacek. And it's finally picked off by Matumbo. Boy, Stockton, his quickness beat Michael Jordan, 77-53. Watch, watch him. Watch him. Barkley in a crowd. Marley for the West. 15 unanswered points by the West. Make that, well, Michael Adams, the shortest against the tallest, took it away from Matumbo. Hornacek left alone. All West in the first half, and we're in the final minute. Michael Jordan with Stockton. Eight on the shot clock. Adams is shy. Hornacek to Matumbo. Barkley with a rebound with 23 seconds left to go. The West with no idea in mind of pulling it out and eating some clock up. Let's score. Isaiah Thomas. And with just under six seconds left, he finally gets a goal. Time for Marley. The rim at the end of the first half. The West led not only by the play of Magic Johnson, but obviously emotionally spurred by Magic's perhaps final ever NBA game. And they have dominated 79-55. Magic Johnson will play in Barcelona, he says. U.S. Olympic team. But there's much more to cover about our Olympians in the games in Spain next summer. And that will be the topic of our halftime report. Stay with us. It's all West and Magic, the first half in Orlando.
can't have Isaiah's moves. You can't have his speed. Ooh, ooh, speed, speed. You can't have his style. 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 You definitely can't have his mom. Ah! But, but you can have his car. His car. Hi. The car. 1992 Toyota Celica. This Valentine's Day, make sure you send your sweetheart the FTD Flower Basket Bouquet. Oh, and make sure you send it a day or two early, because as Cupid says, if your sweetheart misses out... It's as easy as FTD. Tuesday, the police face their toughest personal crisis when an act of violence takes the life of someone they all love. An all-new heat, then. It's the incredible story of a child killer who was only a child himself. It wasn't supposed to go off. He knew that gun was going to fire. I'm not going to plead this down to slap on the wrist. An all-new Law and & Order. And on its new night, the case against Cobb intensifies. I'm about to be charged with murder. And the DA forces Tess to choose between her job and her friend. Reasonable doubts. An all-new NBC Tuesday starts at 8, 7 central. Tonight, get ready for NBC's All-Stars of Comedy. First, John Ritter was looking for an angel and found hell on Earth. We've adopted Satan. Now he's stuck with a problem child. Then... The six-year-olds, how much trouble can they be? Arnold Schwarzenegger's a cop in a class by himself. Not on HBO, not on Showtime, only on NBC. I might have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. Kindergarten Cop at 8.30, 7.30 Central, following Problem Child at 7. NBC's All-Stars of Comedy tonight. This is the Prudential Halftime Report, brought to you by Prudential. Come to the companies of the Prudential and build your future on the rock. Halftime at the Orlando Arena, the Western Conference All-Stars leading the East by the score of 79 to 55. Bob passes back along with Quinn Buckner. It's an exhibition game. It's meant to be entertainment and a showcase for the stars, so the outcome doesn't matter that much. But what people will be talking about is Magic, who is the high man in the game with 16 points, doesn't have any assists. He's played 11 minutes in the first half. Well, I think what you and I have talked about earlier, and you make the point, for Magic, it's important that he plays well, just, just for himself, but he has shown that he's able to score. And I liked him because he got down on the block, got in position to make some things happen, and I thought he did that. Now, though he doesn't have an assist, it doesn't mean he hadn't passed the ball particularly well. It just means that he's done the things he had to do. For example, he gets a chance to get off down on the block and play offense. He's going against the best defensive player at the forward spot in the league at Dennis Rodman. Now watch his patience. He takes his hook shot and takes it right at him, and there's no question about it. It was the second of two hook shots he made. The 16 points I expected. I expect the West to win. I think there's a good chance Magic might be the man today. He's played small forward against Reggie Lewis and Dennis Rodman and point guard against Isaiah. Well, that's what Nelly Don Nelson said he wanted to do with him. Let him play all the positions for a guy that's been away from the game as long as he has competitively. I saw the fire there, even though I saw him take it easy early, which he should have done. The second quarter, he came out. There was no question what he had in mind. He wanted to prove, I'm here to play. I can play with these guys. And I thought he showed that. Remember something about Magic Johnson. There has always been, and I mean this in the best sense, a theatrical aspect to his personality. He is a showman. A showman needs the stage, and a showman needs a final bow. One of the original Showtime members, if you will, that is Magic. He likes the time to get on stage, show people that he can do what everyone else thinks he's unable to do. And I thought that's what he did this afternoon in the first half. Now, I think the barometer for him has, has gone pretty well. I think he knows he can play good minutes. He played 10, 11 minutes. He does that again in the second half. That, that's probably going to be the scenario in the uh, Olympics as well for him. All right, now coming up next, we've got to look at how things are shaping up for the U.S. Olympic basketball team as we continue on the Prudential Halftime Report.
world of constant change, there is one certainty. The financial strength of the rock. The prudential rock solid. They're just a bunch of tall guys running around if you don't have a program. Don't worry if you can't get to Orlando. The official 1992 All-Star program is here. Capture all the moments and relive the history with action-packed photos and great articles. To order, send $10 to Post Office Box 1750, Grand Central Station, New York, New York, 10163. Send for your official NBA All-Star program today. It's still five and a half months until the Summer Olympics begin in Barcelona. And for the first time, NBA players, of course, will compete. So far, ten players have been selected to play, and all of them, with the exception of Larry Bird, are here today in Orlando. What lies ahead for this elite group and their coach, Chuck Daly? Well, here's an update. In the past, they'd come together only once a year. The marquee names of the NBA gathered at the All-Star break. But this June, they'll assemble once again, 12 players strong, known simply as... For now, 10 of the 12 have been named. The final two, at least one of whom will be a collegiate player, will be named in April. Shaquille O'Neal of LSU is one of the players under consideration, along with Duke's Christian Leitner. I think the committee has the prerogative to go either way, either one or two. Uh, my charge to them as the president was to encourage them to consider two. I'm thinking about Coach Daly, and it's very difficult to play more than eight or possibly even nine guys. And so to have 11 NBA players giving up their time is going to be a very difficult thing for him. I think he's better off with 10 NBA guys than two college guys. <laughs> The champagne from the NBA Finals will hardly be wiped away before the Dream Team begins preparations for the Tournament of the Americas to be held in Portland, Oregon. Ten teams from North, South, and Central America will battle for four spots in the Olympics. I think we're all on the same page. It's a pack. Make them play us. Yeah, we understand how good some of the other teams can be, but let's attack them and make them play us. USA Basketball has two concerns. The health of both Magic Johnson and Boston's Larry Bird. At present, Johnson says he's ready to go. Bird is still on the mend from back problems. He'll return to action in the near future. An Olympic gold is still missing from each of their portfolios. I know for a fact that both players desperately want to play. These two guys are winners, and neither one is going to want to be there if they don't think they can contribute to the highest level. For those selected to play for USA Basketball, their respective NBA seasons continue, of course, but the anticipation for Barcelona is growing. I think people can't really understand it until they, they feel like they're the one person representing a whole country. And every time people look at you, that's what they see of the United States. So it, it's a thrill. I just can't wait till that opportunity presents itself. But first of all, you know, I realize that, that right now my main focus is on the season. But when that time comes, I, I know it's going to be probably the greatest moment in my life. Whenever you put that USA uniform on, we're not talking about a silver or a bronze. We're talking about the gold. So it's added pressure, but it's a good added pressure that we look forward to. It's going to be nice to go over there and show for us finally send our pros that we should have been sending as long as those other countries have been sending their pros. So it's going to be nice to go over there and they're going to be the best against the best. And that's the way it should be. That's what the Olympics are about. Okay, so at least one collegiate player, and there's a case to be made for two because there might not be enough playing time to go around our 40-minute game for 11 <laughs> NBA players. But we know that there's at least a chance that another NBA player would be added, and lots of candidates are out here today. Well, there really are. When you go down the list, you think about it. You know, Hornacek is a great shooter, can go one or two. Isaiah Thomas can play it. Um, you can look at Joe Dumars. I tell you what, Clyde Drexler probably has as good a chance as any. He's one of the guys that hadn't been picked. Versatility is really the focus of the composition of this team, so it depends on who falls out as well as who gets added to that list. What about Rodman? Because he can rebound, he can defend, and he does not have to handle the ball. Well, I think the, the question there is that you talk about versatility. Offensively, Dennis Rodman would have to be very active on the boards. We know he can offensively rebound, but you can't worry about running offense for people in this thing because you have enough offensive players that that might be a bit of a problem. Again, I think the versatility is the key, and I'm not sure he has that. Okay. 
Okay, so there's a brief look ahead of the Summer Olympics. Right now, the Winter Games are underway in Albertville, France. The most prestigious of the Alpine skiing events took place earlier today, and Austria's Patrick Ortlieb took the gold, followed by home favorite Frank Picard, and the bronze went to Ortlieb's teammate, Gunther Mader. The USA's top medal hope, A.J. Kitt, finished a disappointing night. We're at halftime of the NBA All-Star Game with the Western Conference stars on top by the score of 79 to 55. We're back to Orlando right after these messages from your local station. This has been the Prudential Halftime Report, brought to you by Prudential. Come to the companies of the Prudential and build your special one-hour Seinfeld. It's better. Baseball star Keith Hernandez stands accused. I turned and the spit ricocheted off him and it hit me. But did he act alone? The spit could not have come from behind. Who really spit on Kramer? There had to have been a second spitter. All new one-hour Seinfeld NBC Wednesday. Of the 344 new cars and trucks being sold today, these are the top 10 sellers. And of these top 10 sellers, only one dealer can offer you five of them. Your Ford dealer. From America's number one selling small car, Ford Escort, to its design leader, Ford Taurus. From America's number one selling compact pickup, Ranger, and sport utility, Explore. To the world's number one selling vehicle, Ford F-Series. With five of the top 10 sellers available only at your Ford dealer. Shouldn't you test drive a Ford today? I think my look is European and it's chic. For a tall guy. Hey, Dominique. We have idols when we're growing up. These kids have idols too, so you know, I think you have to get some. Yeah, Dominique! Yeah! Dominique! Style to me is creative. It's class. It's hair. Proline's comb through texturizer for the style, the look, the feel. Money management at home. Monday on Wake Up Call. Halftime at the 42nd NBA All-Star Game. The West leads the East 79 to 55. Magic Johnson, the game's high scorer thus far, with 16 points in 11 minutes of action. The West is on pace to break the record for most points by a team in an All-Star Game. The record is 154. It's been set twice, each time an overtime game. The regulation record, 153, and the West, of course, ahead of that pace at present. Now, shifting gears, Bryant Gumbel, Katie Couric, and the rest of the Today Show crew is heading for Cuba. They'll have broadcasts from there beginning this week. With a quick look, here's Katie. Thanks a lot. This week, the Today Show's off on a most unusual excursion. We'll be broadcasting live from Cuba with a rare glimpse inside one of communism's last bastions. It's off limits for most Americans, but Europeans are flocking to this tropical island for the exciting nightlife, rich cultural scene, and a little fun in the sun. We'll also take you on a journey inside the world of Fidel Castro, so join us beginning Wednesday for this extraordinary tour of Today in Cuba. Now back to the game. Looking forward to the Today Show broadcast all this week from Cuba. Time now to look forward to the second half and we rejoin our game announcers, Dick Enberg and Mike Fratello courtside. Dick? All right, Bob. Uh, Mike, they don't give awards in all-star games, NBA all-star games, for best defensive player. You don't expect to see much defense, and we, we didn't, but you don't expect to see a team like the West make uh, six or more out of every ten shots. Uh, why? Well, I think there's a tremendous determination by the Western squad to come out and play well. It's no surprise that these players here today uh, came out to try and honor one particular individual, and that's Magic Johnson. Uh, Magic uh, giving them all a lift emotionally, wanting uh, everyone to play hard for him. And here are the numbers. 64% from the floor by the West. And the starters shot 78%. The five Western starters, only 46 for the East. Clyde Drexler, in uh, his brief appearance, made a couple of trays and had 10 points the Portland All-NBA star. Well, maybe the question as to why the West is going so well should be answered by their coach, and with him is Steve Jones. I'm back here in the West locker room with Don Nelson, and one thing this All-Star game has proved for you, Nelly, you can coach Big Ben. Oh, you knew that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I tell you, I'm getting spoiled, though. I got three of them. Oh, my, is that great? Well, you've had a terrific time, and there's absolutely nothing you can do better. What happens in the second half for you? Well, you know, things turn uh, pretty quickly in our league, so we're, uh, we're looking for a tough second half, but we're having fun. We're playing together. We're passing, and I'm surprised at how hard these guys are playing. 
So it was the practice yesterday, right? That was your secret, right? No, you know who it is. It's magic uh, and it's great charisma in our locker room and uh, all of our timeouts. I mean, it is so special. I just wish everybody in the whole world could be in there with us. All right, good luck in the second half. Thanks. 51-year-old Don Nelson, his 30th year in the NBA, and he's like a kid watching Magic Johnson. Second half, coming up. No matter how good you feel, you can still benefit from whole grain nutrition. But of these leading cereals, only Wheaties is made with 100% whole grain. So no matter what you're shooting for, ah, better get your whole grain. I bet eat my Wheaties. Well, here it is, gentlemen. Top of the world. Now, I put my camera here. Your vehicle would face out over the cliffs. What do you think? Look, if you plan to claim your vehicle's as good as a Jeep, you really need this shot in your commercial. How are we going to get our vehicle up here? Helicopter. We'll lift it. Well, let's, let's do it. Let's huh? do it. Great. Let's go down and make some calls. Let's go. Same thing. It's going to be a great commercial. Because when you're racing for the America's Cup, you've got to travel light. It's the right now. Because when it comes to winning, these guys aren't afraid to go a little overboard. It's the right now. Because after all, you're pulling for America to win the America's Cup. So join the Silver Bullet in supporting America Cube and its crew as they race to go all the way. Coors Light and America Cube. Right here, right folks, right now. If you're watching America's biggest stars, tonight you'll see one more. I'm a cop, you idiot. Arnold Schwarzenegger's prepared for anything. I'm the party pooper. Except for this. The six yards. How much trouble can they be? Take the gun. He's a cop in a class by himself. Oh, stop it! Tonight at 8.30, 7.30 Central. Oh, I have a headache. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. Kindergarten Cop, your all-star comedy ticket tonight on NBC. They're horrible. Back in Orlando for this dream game, and if you're an Orlando Magic fan, this would be a dream come true. Look who's wearing a magic warm-up, David Robinson. And so is Clyde Drexler. Theirs didn't arrive, their home team warm-ups, and so they borrowed some Orlando gear. Boy, I bet Pat Williams, the general manager here, would like to swing that kind of deal. I just saw Matty Gukas jumping up and down <laughs> in the stands. Magic Johnson leading the way with 16 points in 11 minutes. Drexler with 10, Jordan and Pippen, the two Bulls in the game have a, a, a piece for the east but the east gonna have to really get hot and it was two runs the west had a 14-0 streak and then they had another of 17 straight points in that first half bill jackson and don nelson the coaches and a testimony to the fact you don't have to be a star even at the nba level to be one of the great coaches. They were sixth men, and maybe in some ways uh, that qualifies them to understand the full length of the bench. You see the game a little bit differently when you're sitting for a while and then come in and start to play. But one thing you can count on, the East team will not be very happy about the fact that they're being uh, embarrassed right now. They'll make a strong comeback. The starters go at the top of the second half here. That means Ewing, Jordan, Kiffin, Isaiah, and Barkley on the floor. And for the West in blue, Malone, Robinson, Mullen, Drexler, and Magic. Some might say, Mike Fratello, that the East, as Barkley guns a three and way off the mark, that the East caught up in the spirit of Magic, perhaps saying, hey, let, let Magic and the West have their way. I don't agree with that at all. Right now, if you look at the statistics, uh, the West has just had a, a great afternoon shooting the basketball. And then look from behind the three-point line. They're making open shots. Uh, they've earned it. Robinson fouled by Patrick Ewing, his third. One of the favorite plays for David Robinson, that quick reverse down on the box where they like to throw the lob pass for the dunk. Yeah. 
Mullen to score. Do the uh, the officials in the game get full pay? I just wonder because they've called 11 fouls. I wonder if they're just kind of part-timing it. Well, they want to see what Magic's doing as well. They can't be blowing the whistle and watching at the same time, you know, enjoying it. Michael Jordan. He knows that sound. Ten for Jordan to lead the East. Magic loses the handle, and it's Scotty Pippen for the East. Oh, he runs like a quarter mile. Mullen to Magic, three on two. David Robinson and the foul. Talk about two big men getting out in front. Magic couldn't decide whether to give it to Carl Malone or the next guy coming down, who happened to be David Robinson, makes the decision here. I'll go to, uh, let me see, Robinson this time. A foul to the round man of rebound, Charles Barkley. Robinson, unhappy you heard his remarks as he missed that easy layup, and uh, Magic doesn't have an assist. 11 players on the, uh, check that, 10 on the West have an assist. Magic's not one of them. He does have 16 points. Ewing powering in. Mullen hustles for the rebound. Magic the long pass to Drexler. Blind pass to Malone. Over Ewing. Carl Malone of Utah now has 10. Five for five from the floor for the mailman. A little thank you pass from Barkley to Michael. A little bit of magic in Charles Barkley that time behind the back. Drops it off. Jordan going for the steal. Dressler with a drive. I remember what Magic told us last week. Clyde Drexler, when Portland figures out that he's the man to have the ball in the close games at the end, then the Blazers are really going to be the supreme challenger to the Chicago Bulls. 20-second timeout. And I think what happened just then is that Isaiah called the 20-second timeout. Soon enough. Michael, with the ultimate finish, and uh, you know when that tongue, tongue is hanging, something bad is going to happen, and Michael is the one that is doing it. His idol, as he grew up, was David Thompson, who was a great star at North Carolina State, and David in the Legends game last night with a serious knee injury, and we hope he has a quick recovery. Ewing uh, fouled by Robinson, his first. Patrick Ewing, he was a member of the 84 U.S. Olympic team with Chris Mullen and Michael Jordan. And he's uh, been working out in the summer, last summer, day, four hours a day with uh, Dikembe Mutombo. And Mutombo really has credited him with helping his offensive game. Talked to him yesterday a little bit about the uh, start by the New York Knicks and uh, smiled and said, uh, yeah, but you know what? We still have a lot of doubters out there. They don't think we're for real. Mutombo rooting for his... The La Jolla pal, Patrick Ewing. Ewing from Jamaica, Matumbo from Zaire, Elijah Wan from Nigeria. The big men in this game is interesting. It's an international list of talent. Malone blocked by Ewing, but I believe Barkley got a piece early. Well, the game is wide open. When Magic pitches ahead and you get big men running the floor like this, Carl Malone makes it a little bit easier. Don Nelson, it's all smiles on that western sidelines. Malone wearing number 11. His uh, jersey number with Utah, number 32, and that's taken by Magic every year. He changes it. He wore four for Sloan, his coach, you know, seven for Pistol Pete in honor of Maravich. Frank Layden's high school number was 26. He wore 13th last year because he was the 13th player picked in his college draft and 11th because 11 today because he's number 11 on the U.S. Olympic team. That'll be the number he'll wear in Barcelona. Michael Jordan will wear number nine. Drexler, what an athlete, what an athlete, Clyde Drexler. 
When they're in full stride, it's tough to tell which one gains more ground, Drexler or Pippen. Isaiah unable to connect at the other end. Drexler with Mullen. Jordan back. Magic. There's the assist to Robinson. Davidson, I'll get that assist for you yet. Here it is. and Jordan leads the East with 14, but they trail by 31 points here with eight and a half to go in the third. Malone gets the assist to Robinson. It all starts with Magic going down to the box where he played for so long, the Laker team initiating the offense as a postman, and then it's just a matter of making the right decisions, passing the ball. Ewing, a little shuffle step, no whistle, and Johnson comes up with it. Here's Magic. Deflected and stolen by Isaiah. Jordan sets up Pippen and a foul Robinson. And Pippen explodes to the hole. It's making the right decisions, finding the right people, and knowing who to give it to and when. That's a pretty good guy right there, David Robinson. When you have numbers and you fill and you play unselfishly, easy scores take place. Pippen converts the three-point play, and the East is within 30. Isaiah extending the defense for the East, trying to pick up Magic full court, pressure him, force some turnovers perhaps. Magic Axe knocked away to the West with nine on the shot clock. Well, with Magic playing this well and showing that even though he's not, you know, one of the questions would, you know, it shows you're working out and you're running, but you're not playing competitively, showing that he still very much belongs. Laker fans are going to say, hey, why not? All-star time. You're getting ready for the Olympics. Why not play for the Lakers in the uh, playoffs? Drexler not there. I, I don't think anyone ever said that but when the HIV virus was detected that his skills had diminished anyway. The concern here is for the man's health, his well-being. And it'll all be based on what the medical people tell Magic, that if he's going to, that kind of stress and playoff action and travel is going to really create a problem in terms of years or days or even months lost on the back end of his life, and he'll be advised not to do it. Drexler at the end of the break, keyed by Magic. 96-66. Jordan, Drexler is whistled for the foul. A little bit of touch pass basketball, play unselfishly, give and go, get it back, makes it nice. Four passes, the ball didn't hit the floor. The Lakers retire Magic's number 32 next Sunday. Jeep Cherokee Sport is the perfect vehicle for traveling America's most famous roads like Wall Street, Pacific Coast Highway, Park Avenue, and, of course, Sunset Boulevard. Now drive for the gold and save an additional $1,500 on new Jeep Cherokees. What does a billion dollars worth of service feel like? like this. I left my country, Lithuania, to come to this, the Olympic Games. We are free now and this freedom is so new to me. My father has only memory of it. Even just by being here, I have won these Olympics for my people. Coca-Cola sponsors national Olympic teams in 154 countries, including one that first had to struggle just to be free. The NBA All-Star Game is brought to you by Cold Filtered Keystone and Keystone Light. Bottled beer taste in a can. Wouldn't that be great? By Jeep and Eagle, a division of the Chrysler Corporation, proud sponsor of the 1992 U.S. Olympic team. And by Coca-Cola Classic, the official soft drink of the NBA. We're in.
and Central Florida, but it's the West. The All-Stars of the West at lead, and 20 years ago, Jerry West of the West thrilled the hometown at the Forum in L.A. Score tied 1-10, seconds remaining against the Knicks. Walt Frazier at the buzzer. West goes up with a 20-footer. And in the most dramatic win of the NBA All-Star Series, the West had the victory, and Jerry West won the MVP. And, of course, he's the general manager that selected Magic Johnson as the number one pick of the Lakers. If you think it's important to play with Magic, the two forwards for the West, Mullen and Malone, nine for nine in field goals with Magic directing the show. Magic with a steal. And of course, he's the king of the triple doubles. Turnover, and it's Michael Jordan's hands. Look at that. Magic hawking Michael. And Ewing, the beneficiary. Hand checking by Magic Johnson. He looked like a NHL hockey star trying to use that stick to slow down the man advancing the puck. Here comes uh, Zeke to Jordan, who passed up the easy basket, and Barkley misses the follow. Three on one. Carol Malone. Chip by Drexler, and it almost went in. Thomas, Drexler, Magic to Mullen, that soft left hand of Chris Mullen, who has been the Warriors' leading scorer the last four years, leads again this year, he's number four in the league, in fact, over 26 a game, he's five for five, Thomas inside to score his ninth point. Isaiah Thomas and the Olympics. That perhaps is the most intriguing of all the possibilities. There's probably six players out here today that we could talk about that deserve a spot on that Olympic team. Jordan holding Elijah one, and that's a big guy to hold. Well, right here as Jordan brings it up for Magic, trying to wait, get, get back here, get, get back here. Trying to green fly him. And then Michael playing unselfish basketball finds Ewing. John Stockton now in for Magic. Elijah Wan unable to connect. Here's Barkley. 5-13 left in the third period. The West, two points from the century mark, leading by 28. Michael and Drexler, and that's a great one-on-one. -on -one. And Drexler usually scores right with Michael in the Bulls of Blazer matchups. Kiffin. And that was Elijah on. He had his hand almost up inside the basket to reject it. And, and Scotty Pippen was determined to put that thing down with his left hand. You talk about meeting some opposition. There it is right there in Akeem. Jordan. Pippen knocks it away from Stockton. Scotty Pippen. Won't fall. Elijah on the mullet. Stolen by Jordan. That's why he's also one of the top defenders when they make the all-NBA defensive team out each year. Mullen. Stockton unable to steal. Well, one thing he likes to do, Michael Jordan, is hang around for the outlet pass, kind of sneak in behind the offensive player when he's not looking, and as a result, picks up a few easy points. 16 now for Jordan to lead the East. And Isaiah has two more. He has his number, 11. Drexler so quickly with the answer at the other end. He has 18 now to lead the West. <laughs> How he got that basket up, switched hands, got it in off the glass with his left. Thomas rattles in his 13th, and it's 100 to 76. The West over the East with under four to go in the third period. Isaiah didn't get the foul, but he got the turnover, and here comes Michael. And Stockton a little too tight on the defense, and he has his first foul. His first 14 foul. Don Nelson getting ready to send James Worthy into the lineup. West substitution at number 42. And here comes Worthy. The veteran Laker from Estonia, North Carolina. Jordan and Sam Perkins, his teammates on that 82 Tar Heel National Championship team that beat Georgetown, the buzzer, who, who made the shot, the freshman Jordan. 
Uh, and the West a little bit better uh, able to match up with this team on the floor that the East has. Speed and quickness to match. It's Drexler. Jordan tried to deny, and uh, Clyde Drexler saying, I'd look pretty good in a red, white, and blue USA uniform in Barcelona. Well, he was one of those six names. Uh, you know, take it easy, Clyde. <laughs> Ewing is fouled. Daryl Gerritsen, Joe Crawford, and Tommy Nunez are the officials in this 42nd All-Star Classic. Clyde Drexler, 20 points, 9 for 14, 10 points here in the third period. I, I just, uh, as a fan, I'm always delighted when I walk in in the sign and I see Clyde Drexler is playing. I just think he is, he doesn't get the publicity that some of those in major media areas do, but Drexler is just a phenomenally uh, entertaining guy to watch. It's going to be so difficult for the Olympic Selection Committee to decide who's going to fill those last two spots. Are they both collegians? Is it one pro, one collegiate player? When you talk about these people out here, how do you pick between a Thomas, Hornacek, Price, Dumas, Rodman, or Drexler? Stockton for three. Rodman with a rebound. He's in double figures, leads the way. Stolen by Stockton, one of the best in the league as he pickpocketed Isaiah Thomas. Seven for Stockton. As it was uh, Isaiah against Stockton's team, the Jazz, that caught uh, a huge bump from Malone that sidelined him. And many felt it was because Isaiah happened to tune him up for 44 points the game prior. Worthy from 20 feet has seven. Foul on Stockton. Quick hand, John Stockton. Third in the league, and picking up the free ball, John Stockton. Wouldn't it be great if your blind date, Rachel, turned out to be Rachel Hunter, the international model, and you had a romantic dinner at the beach with beer, really great beer, like Keystone Light, and things went really well. So you had Rachel build you a beach house, because it turned out that Rachel was a great little homemaker. Cold filtered Keystone and Keystone Light. Bottle beer, taste in a can. So what's left to do? Then a shingle in the roof. I'll do that in the morning. Who <laughs> wouldn't that be great? You get a hold of him? Yeah, he said he was going to spend the afternoon with his wife. His wife? What could he possibly be doing with his wife on a Saturday afternoon? He's going to clean out the garage or scrub the toilet. Or yeah, anything. take out the garbage. She's like a slave driver, that woman. Yeah. Yeah. I feel sorry for the guy, you know? It hurts me. Well, he doesn't know what he's missing. You know, I never let a woman treat me that way. I hear you, man. So, um, what, what, what should we do tonight? We could talk about cars. Yeah. Eclipse. Noun. The motion of one heavenly body passing in front of another. An eclipse occurs only with the perfect alignment of arcs and curves and angles. Eclipse. Verb. To surpass. To cast in shadow. To leave others behind. The stunning eclipse for 1992. From Mitsubishi, the word is getting around. They're playing. Playing to regain the glory. Playing for the USA. Jordan, Ewing, Barkley, Malone, and Magic. The world's greatest basketball players are going to Barcelona to bring home the gold. The NBA All-Star Game is brought to you by Mitsubishi, bringing you a full line of award-winning automobiles. Mitsubishi, the word is getting around. Our blimp today, sporting its new look, the spirit of Akron, the spirit's trip to Orlando for today's telecast, courtesy of Goodyear Tires, new beautiful paint job. Steve Jones. All right, Dick Kimberg, I'm over here with the leading vote getter in the West, Carl Malone. And first off, it's a different game for you than it was a year ago. Oh, absolutely. I think right now we're just out rebounding the ball, running, helping each other out. And it's great to be on this end of it now because we hadn't beat these guys in three or four years. But we're just running the floor right now, getting a lot of easy basketball. All right, Don Nelson said that uh, Magic uh, was a big difference, of course, in the locker room. Your thoughts about Magic perhaps even coming back in the playoffs? Well, my thing is this right here. I won't say he's, he's finished till he finished. Uh, 
Uh, uh, the thing about him, though, is uh, he do so many good things for the game of basketball. He's playing great now. Uh, I think the uh, last thing Magic wants you to do is feel sorry for him because he's playing his butt off. He's still the same Magic to me. All right, back to you, Dick. Yeah, thank you, Snapper. As Worthy gets it in that conversation from Carl Malone, there is a good point made, and so often we want our stars not to lead to the point of desperation where we make them stay too long and they embarrass themselves. And there's a little bit in there, too. I think all of his friends in the NBA don't want Magic to play if he can't be at the top of his game. No, because you remember Magic for what he was and what he did for the game, and why should you think of him in any other way other than the greatness that he has exhibited? Nothing to mar that today. As Stockton gets two more for the West, nine for the Utah All-Star. Brad Doherty wearing number 43. That's after his idol, and he's not a basketball player. Drexler so outstanding in the open court. You let him run out. You have guys that can get the boards the way the Western Conference has done so far. You catch him one-on-one -on -one defensively, you have a lot of trouble in the backcourt. Price goes off Hornacek. East ball, 12 seconds. Price with that knee surgery of a year ago, still not 100%. There's Drex to tell you, that guy, whoever gave him that nickname, that just is it. Perfect. Well, how many guys can go from half court to the basket with two dribbles and then finish the play? Reggie Lewis. And I tell you what, a pretty good start on a 4x400 four relay would be Clyde Drexler and Scotty Pippen. I mean, that, I would, I'd, I'd take that as my first two and a couple of physics majors, and you pick your four. And I'll tell you one other guy who I'd add to that team that's not playing today but was voted on this team. That's Dominique Wilkins. You should see him fly. Scotty Pippen on cue and rejected by Elijah Wan. <laughs> Again by Elijah Wan, spoiling the fun for the East. Hakeem, second in the league in blocks this year to David Robinson. Just when you think that it's going to be easy and you're going to get it reduced, no. No way, we're not going to let you have it. Come try again, and I'll get a little help from my friend. Why Drexler helping out Hakeem. Dominique Wilkins, uh, voted to this all-star game, is here in person with on crutches, sitting over on the sidelines. Worthy. Good hands by Elijah Wan. Tim Hardaway. Three-pointer for Hardaway. And the West just keeps right on hitting. Wow. Two out of three from three-point range for Hardaway. Have to start checking all the scores to see if this is the most lopsided. It's on its way to being one of the most one-sided All-Star games ever. At this point, a good chance with uh, just seconds remaining in the third period. Doherty stolen by Stockton. No mercy from the West. Doherty takes it right back to Price. Showing that once upon a time, he would have been a great wide receiver. He's feisty enough. 115-83. 3, 2, 1. Hardaway, it counts as it goes. And that's the end of three. The West, 115. The East, 83. And Clyde Drexler missing only five out of 15 shots to lead the way with 22 points. Oh, don't be confused. Don't worry, you fans in Portland. That's just a borrow job, that Orlando Magic warm-up. Before purchasing an object of considerable value, some feel it's wise to have it appraised. Appraisals are now in on the new Mitsubishi Diamante. Needless to say, we're very Mitsubishi. The word is getting around. You'll see someone receive a gold medal. Maybe you have another game or two. Just gets you really pumped up. It, it fills you with a sense of pride because that's your country. It's not just that particular person going up there and receiving a medal. 
there's something uh, that's within you that, that makes you elated to watch the other Americans do well. The Lakers retire Magic's number 32 next Sunday. We invited folks over to try our delicious fried chicken. Compliments of Hardee's. Chicken's kind of juicy and it's crispy. It's real juicy. Juicy. It's nice and crispy. How does it compare to Kentucky Fried Chicken original recipe? Hardee's tastes better in Kentucky anytime. I say, I think it's better chicken than I don't like Kentucky as much. Hardee's Fried Chicken. Take preferred over Kentucky Fried Chicken 63 to 37. And now, here's a deal that'll really blow you away. Eight pieces of Hardee's Fried Chicken are now only $4.99, including four free biscuits. Limited time offer. These are the top ten sellers. Only one dealer can offer you five of them. Your local Ford dealer. Like America's design leader, Ford Taurus. The only car in its class to offer anti-lock brakes and dual airbags. One for the driver, one for the front passenger. Plus, with a sixth year in a row, Ford Taurus has made car and driver's top ten list. Taurus has been redesigned inside and out for 92. Now get $500 cash back or 7-9 financing. See your local Ford dealer and prepare to be impressed. Inside the world of the real Godfather. Watch Inside Edition. This copyrighted telecast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, or rebroadcast without the express written consent of the NBA. 15,000 plus royally entertained by the best of the NBA here at the Orlando Arena. And it's been the West, the say from the get-go. Every period outscoring the East. There's uh, Hammer and Deion Sanders on the near side. What is that the Atlanta Falcon cry? Too legit to quit? Well, these guys are not, well, too legit to sit. I mean, that's okay, I guess. Ahmad? <laughs> All right, Dick. Now, Scotty, I just saw two shots get blocked right in the row down there. In the other. That's part of the problem here. Yeah, that's definitely the problem. But, you know, it's a good block, but I thought I got fouled, too. So, it's a tough game. I guess the game going their way, so everything working towards their momentum. Can you guys come back? It's going to be tough. But we're, we're not going to give up. We're not going to let them go out and embarrass them. So, we're going to continue to come out. I'm hoping we'll make a comeback in this quarter. All right, man. All right. Back to you, Dick. All right, Scotty Tippin, the basso profundo of the NBA. With our own uh, Ahmad Louis Rashad. 34 point lead now for the West. The all time difference was 42. Back in 66 uh, when the East beat the West 137 94. 43 points. 43. Elijah on and a foul. Well, the Eastern team, besides pulling out their three-point attack, they're going to get all those guys behind the three-point line, start getting them up there. Here's a few stops to the defensive end to get them going. Hakeem raises the goggles for the free throws. Normally during the basketball game, a team might have an outstanding first quarter, an outstanding half. They shoot over 60%. You say, hey, they're going to come back. Don't worry about it. In the second half, they'll shoot 30 to all balance out. Three straight quarters, the West has shot over 60%. Elijah one. It's one out of two. Now has six in the game. Richie Lewis, as you heard the defense yell for help. On that Eastern team, and nice to refresh uh, the memories, knock away some cobwebs. Uh, the all-star team that uh, has the largest margin of victory, Jerry Lucas, Chet Walker, John Havlicek, Willis Reed, Will Chamberlain were the starters. Bill Russell, Sam Jones, Hal Greer, Oscar Robertson, Adrian Smith, and Adrian Smith of Cincinnati led the scores with 24. It's not a bad bench, is it? A guy named Bill Russell and Oscar Robertson coming off the bench. Oh, my. Richie Lewis makes it 118-86. Hardaway, Hornacek, Stockton, a small lineup for the West with Magic and Elijah Wan. And uh, Rodman forces the turnover. Mark Price and Joe Dumars in the backcourt for the East with Rodman, Lewis, and Doherty. Brad Doherty. Reggie Lewis over Hornacek for the rebound, and Dumars can't hit the three. Lewis saves again. 
Dumars throws it away. Elijah Wan bats it to Hardaway. Blocked by Lewis. Magic. This is the layup. It was too easy. He was right there in front of him. He didn't know what to do with it. Price to Lewis. Too high. Magic Johnson with 16 points in the first half. He has not scored in the second half. Now the fans just sitting and watching and wondering if the West will ever slow down. Arnold Schwarzenegger's a kindergarten cop, NBC Tonight. Freedom. It's the spirit which moves the Cutlass Supreme, a car intelligently engineered to free your eyes, your hands, your senses. Introducing the new Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. The look may change, but the spirit remains the same. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. If your face were square, shaving would be simple. But your face has curves. You need the Schick Tracer with a blade that flexes to put more of the blade edge against your skin. Tracer from Schick traces every curve on your face.